How are you today? Thank you so much for joining me. <laughs> I'm having some fun lately with these backgrounds. Why not? <laughs> I found this awesome background. It was a part of a yurt bathroom that they made with this gorgeous stone. And I just took a picture of it and um, here we are. So thanks for joining me on this new way of sharing myself today with you. I'm inspired by spirit. So thank you so much for joining me on this message today. Feeling very guided to offer you a prayer. Um, it's a clearing and cleansing prayer today. Um, we've recently had the opportunity to um, be part of a group of folks doing some great world service in the world. Um, for those of you who don't know, I do a lot of global world service. And we had a gala this weekend that was just kind of a phenomenal, remarkable um, chance to be in the world and see how much folks are ready for something like a global transformation engine or world engine that brings us all together to communicate and collaborate and to build something that helps to spread love and consciousness around the globe. There was a great response to that. And that's what's inspiring this prayer today. Um, we so feel inspired by the whole thing. It was kind of like um, there's energies, right, that would say no to the light and say no to this whole thing happening. And there was so much light and beauty and love in that room that there was a whole lot of yeses, I would say the whole group. And sometimes when we do gatherings or workshops or whatever it may be, we don't always feel like everyone's a yes, but there's usually a pretty nice percentage that says, yes, I'm ready to clear this unresolved pain, wounding, karma, trauma, drama, whatever it is that really eliminates me from being sovereign in this world, where I in some way feel part of the tribe. Um, we recently realized that it would be so great to make sure that our house is fully off grid as much as possible. And part of that looks like getting um, just solar in the home, right? And um, taking care of this plant any ways that we can. And our husband said, um, no, it's not possible to fully unplug, honey, because you need to stay plugged in somewhat still into the, the system, of course, um, with the with the city, the city energy. And I said, well, we can unplug. And he said, pretty much, that's the way it goes. You just got to stay plugged in still to some degree. And we say, no, we can unplug. Even if they keep us plugged in in some way, we can unplug. We can unplug within ourselves from the grid, from the matrix. We can become free no matter what the system says to us, right? It is within and is without. And within us, sometimes we do have parts of ourselves that are still not integrated. As you know, some of you have been doing work with me for a while and some of you may be new. So that new kind of connection to spirit, which is for some new, it helps us to remember the truth of who we are and why we are here. And we are not here to be plugged into some sort of system. We are sovereign beings that have our own unique um, uh, likes and, and uh, loves and, and what we choose to bring forth in this life, our soul's lessons, in fact. Um, we are our own unique divine emanation of spirit, of God, goddess. There is no other one like you on this planet. You are the only one just like you. Isn't that amazing? So please do not try to be like anyone else because then you would only be living a life that is not true or authentic to you. So what is it that stops us from unplugging is what this prayer is for, right? It's that part of ourself or these parts of ourself or perhaps even just the ego itself that tries to sell, sell you a bill of goods that you have to stay plugged in. You have to give your energy to others. You have to allow people into your energy system on a, so at some point in some part of the day. This is completely not true. It's inaccurate. And we are saying to you now, please, unplug and let go through this prayer thank you so much taking a slow and deep breath one more time Keeping that rhythmic flowing breath coming in through your nose and out through your mouth through the entirety of this prayer. 
Just allowing your breath to move in as deeply as, impos as possible into your body, dropping into your heart. This light, this love that's infused into your breath is moving in through your breath and you're breathing in out. So breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth, connecting to spirit through this breath. Spirit is moving into your body. This breath is light. It is love. It is compassion. It is care. It is kindness. It is here to help bring you life force, energy to unplug from this world, right? So remembering to breathe the entirety of your day, but it's, and for sure, the entirety of this prayer. Thank you so much. We thank you. We thank you so very much. Mother, Father, God, to all the beautiful divine higher beings that are now here with us, to all angels, all guides, all masters of mine and everyone else's that is here on this message today, listening. Your beautiful spirit team is being called and has arrived based on your calling. As you know, when we call, when we ask, we shall receive all divine higher beings, all angel team, all spirit team that is in alignment with spirit that loves you deeply and has your very best interests for your soul evolution is being called. Take a slow and deep breath. Is it okay to be so supported right now? Any part of yourself that's saying, oh no, I don't, I don't deserve the support. I, I'm not ready for the support I don't I don't know the support allowing yourself to just let that go now breathe deeply feel how good it is to feel right now that your system is being flooded with the light which means that any energies, any detrimental forces, influences, any parts of yourself, any entities that are not yet in alignment with spirit, that do not know the light, either they're to be ushered out completely, to be let go of, or to be perhaps even maybe brought into the light to be dissolved. Wherever it is most in alignment for these energies to go that are not in alignment with spirit, or parts of yourself that have not yet integrated into the into the light, which means also from there they become integrated into your heart, into your soul, becoming a part of you, not separate, is being worked with now, taking a deep breath. Feeling how good it is to feel the purification process that is happening now for you. Your system is being worked with. Say yes to this healing, this clearing, this prayer that is helping spirit to come into your body to work with anything that again, that has really made it difficult for you to not feel like you've got to be a part of something like a, a herd or a tribe. I'm not talking about a healthy conscious tribe. We're talking about the tribe, the consensus consciousness, or better said, maybe the unconsciousness that attempts to have us all just kind of be like one another, to stay safe and to be in control or to be in power, supposedly. Is it even true that we're actually receiving power by being a part of the herd or the tribe, the consensus consciousness, this majority ruled voice? Is it possible that, that you have been sold a bill of goods that says that you become powerful amazing and you belong and you're a part of something if you act like the tribe you act like the herd unplug say no more i choose to know myself to know myself truly thyself capital s self is to love thyself would you like to choose to love yourself completely today say yes to that if you're ready if there's a part of yourself or even the ego itself trying to eliminate the ability for you to do that, like you got to prove something, you got to do something, you've done bad things, forgive yourself, forgive all of that right now. Take a deep and slow breath. 
We ask you, Mother, Father, God, to pour so much light into each one of our systems now to move out any part of ourselves, any energy here that's saying that we have to do something to unplug. We have to prove ourselves. We have to be acknowledged more. We have to show the world that we are worth being uh, let go of and let go of this energy, this 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 binding. Um, almost like feels like you're in chains or something around your feet and can only move so far and do so much without starting to feel some sort of guilt or shame creep in that you're not doing enough or you're not being enough that's being worked with right now feel it all just fall away off your body you don't have to do anything you don't have to be anything you don't have to become something. You already are loved and cared for completely. In fact, as a soul, you are love. You are a divine light being. Perhaps some of this dust that we're talking about has settled upon your light. So sometimes it's blurry or you can't see through the dust. The dust is being moved out if you so choose in this prayer. Breathe deeply. We are so grateful for you to be here with us. God, please, thank you so much. So any part that has not trusted yourself, not believed in yourself, because the self was once again clouded by non-integrated energies or ego, and therefore it caused what's called maybe a trust issue or a mistrust in the world, that's being cleared, with, cleared right now as well. Just taking that slow and deep breath. that's being cleared as well right now. Feel it moving, feeling it change. How good it is to allow yourself to just let this all go. Is it okay to stay to yourself internally now with Mother, Father, God's assistance? I let go, I release everything that is not of a light within my system i choose sovereignty to stand on my own two feet a sovereign being managing my own energy system no energies get to hang on to my energy system this is my energy system i am a sovereign being and i say yes to unplugging from the system taking a slow deep breath Feeling how good that feels now. Say yes to the healing and clearing that's happening within this prayer. We thank you, Mother, Father, God. We have gratitude. We say yes to being free because we are free, free sovereign beings. Thank you. And with these words we say and so it is and so it shall be amen thank you thank you so much <laughs> have a beautiful rest of your day god bless you all